Tifa Freeze come out of his last race on flying form. He won really impressively at Newbury. You know, he, he'd come up the handicap a huge amount and he's, and he's, and he's gone up again. He's got another seven pounds for that performance. And I'm um, really looking forward to this race. It's a big step up in class, but he deserves to be there. He's won his last four and he just seems to be on extremely good form. And yeah, hopefully Donks as a, as a track will suit him. He's just a massive, massive improver. Um, he started off right at the beginning of the season off a mark of 108 and he won very comfortably at Huntington. And it's gone on from there to, to his last win off 131. And he's now, as I say, he's now 138. And it's, yes, he's gone up a huge amount on the handicap. Yes, his, the progression will end somewhere, but the way he won last time, you'd like to think there's more to come. I think there's masses of improvement. He's a, he's he's a bit of a star here, and I think that I think that you know we're going for a big race, at the Skybet Chase, and I think that should be right up his street, um, and I think he he will improve from that. He's in great order. He's a horse that sort of takes everything in his stride. He's a right gentleman, a really really kind horse. Um, the girl who looks after him, Jess, does a brilliant job with him. He's 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 a very very kind man. We always knew he was far better than his form last season. For some reason, things did not go away. Hurdles, whether it was hurdles or whether just nothing, he was, wasn't quite right last season. You never quite expect him to improve as much as he has, um, but then at the same time, we were very disappointed last season. So going up to one, three, you know, going up 30 odd pounds is a huge achievement on his behalf, um, but Dentis has probably been three quarters of it and also being a healthier, happier horse this season. T for free, doing this very easily, wing the last. He won over three mile two at Utoxeter, and first thing Lily said was dropping back in trip, and it was like two mile six and a half at Newbury. Um, and he, he relished it. I mean, I think on that softer ground, yes, bringing back short of two, three miles was, was great, but three miles, I think, is his optimum trip. And as I said, yes, um, Doncaster will be very, very strong, but he deserves his chance. T for three, hanging violently left as they race towards the line, but still in front from Bells of Peterborough. And it's three out of three for the winner who's taken this in great style. T for three, Lily Pinchin on board once again. Lily loves him, absolutely love him. Yes, they've, they've, yeah, I mean, he was probably her second or third ever winner for us, um, and they've won four now, and they just, I yeah, think on extreme well. She just Lily's forward going style suits the horse. He likes that. He likes to be up there with the pace. Doesn't have to be in front. He was last time at Newbury. Um, it just they just seem to get on very well. They seem to fingers crossed. Things have clicked. And um, and uh, <laughs> as long as it lasts one more week, I'll be, I'll be very excited. Last season, end of the summer, Charlie offered me a job, um, and uh, I was delighted. So I sort of grabbed the ball by the horns and uh, said, definitely wants to work for Charlie. And it's just been magic ever since you know I've ridden Charlie a lot of winners and uh, if I was stood here you know this time last year I wouldn't have said that I'd have been able to reach something like this and it just goes to show when you have the support and the horses behind you like the likes of Tifa Free um, you know you can you can build build on things and I've just been so grateful some lovely owners here that are supporting me and even when you're struggling you've got great support and uh, that's the most important thing I think. If T for Free was to go and win the Skybet Chase, I mean, it would be one of my biggest career winners. It could just move me on to bigger things and fingers crossed he can go and do that.